Most of us are familiar with the standard old Texas rig. That's simply a, a hook tied to the end of the line with a slip bullet weight rigged right above it. What I'm going to show you today, though, is a little bit different. It's called a drop shot rig, and it's one of the hottest to, uh, one of the hottest techniques on the Pro Tour right now. To rig a drop shot, instead of having the weight directly above the hook, we're going to have the weight down at the end of this leader below the hook. When you tie your hook on, simply leave a long tag end, about 12 to 14 inches in length. Take the Excalibur TG Tungsten drop shot weight. And you see this little metal clip at the top? This is so easy. You run your line through the metal clip and pull, and your weight is automatically fastened to the line. What you end up with almost looks like a live bait rig. Your bait will be right down here on the bottom. Your weight will be on the bottom. Your bait will be suspended up where the hook is. And what I like to use, my favorite drop shot lure, is a Yum Houdini worm. Merely run through one quarter of an inch the top of the bait, rig it up over the top of the offset. That offset on the hook is just there to help us hold the bait up and in place. Now, one of the most important parts when rigging a soft plastic is to make sure the bait hangs straight. So I want to let it, hold, let it hang straight, mark that spot with my thumb, bend the worm up and come straight through the body at that point. Now, I can either, if I'm open water, I can fish it with an exposed hook just like that, or if I'm going to fish around brush or grass or some sort of cover, I can barely bury that point just inside the, the point of the inside the plastic of the bait and this is your drop shot rig right here the weight is on the bottom the bait is suspended 12 to 14 inches up hard to catch fish can't resist it one mistake a lot of people often make with the drop shot rig is they overwork the lure what I like to do is I like to let my weight settle to the bottom and then I like to fish this bait where I want, I want to shake the bait without actually moving the weight and I want to keep shaking it in one spot as long as I can stand it. As long as I think there's a fish down there looking at it, I'm going to do everything I can to trick him and entice him. If I don't get a bite, I'll drag it a few feet over here and do it again. It's great for pitching under docks, around stumps, isolated weed clumps, or just rock piles, even open water. This is a killer technique.